the seeds I'm going to be planting at the moment for the next two weeks at least mainly items that are going to be frost hardy anyway apart from the chilies and the tomatoes which will probably be germinated indoors and kept indoors for a short space of time and then straight into the polytunnel so this will give them a little bit more protection so i've got three small pots because i'm going to plant cucumbers now since it's only me that actually likes cucumber i'm only after probably one plant so i'll plant three just in case and i will put two seeds into each pot again if worse comes to the worst i can always gift a couple of the seeds i want to put three in that one and three in this one as well light cover over now this is an outdoor cucumber not one for the greenhouse and it's car and it's called market more 76 last year i didn't sow any cucumbers but we did buy a plant and because we had it outdoors and it grew very well i'm guessing it was a market more okay outside to water now i have some pak choy and i really enjoyed the pak choy in the early spring last year so i'm going to sow some pak choy I really enjoyed the pak choy in the spring and it grew quite well. We had better pak choy either early or late when we had some through the height of the summer it didn't grow very well at all and it bolted very very quickly. Something you have to be aware of when you're growing your seeds you've got to see when their flowering time is and try to avoid sowing and growing your plants at that time of year if you can. Now pak choy, it's, you can freeze it but it's not great frozen. The whiter stem of it is a little bit better than the actual green leaf. Now I multi-sow these into about threes now i grew them in clumps of three and fours last year and it worked very very well now these particular ones these are green revolution same as what we grew last year we did try to grow red pak choy last year and none of them germinated at all so it will be have to be something i think we'll have to take another look at and see whether it was too late in the season or just bad seed. I will sow a few more of the red ones to see if it was the seed. Again you don't need these deep and since I've poured them all out they're all going to have to go on. light dusting over the top and that's my pak choy i'm just going to firm the top down a little bit just so it's in contact with the seeds and off they go to get watered so i'm going to grow some chilies and i'm actually going to grow them in a tray the seed tray plenty of holes on the bottom helps with the germination if i can actually cover this and i don't have to worry about the others so much these will be germinated indoors because obviously it really isn't warm enough yet i've got different ones so i've got some cayennes a chili shake so that will be random pepper hots more cayennes got some sweet peppers as well which I'll put into here a couple of different varieties and pepper hot again so nothing too extravagant 
but these kind of ones I quite like cooking with. I'll dry them out in the other, dehydrate them and store them in a the jar for the year. Now I'm quite looking forward to making the compost this year to see if I can actually get enough made for another couple of beds and to make a little bit of seed compost next year sieved. I've got the cayenne, the chilli shake ones, the pepper hots and the sweets. So I'm literally just going to... Now again, I normally wet all this first. I'm not 100% sure whether these seeds are actually any good now. But we shall see. I'm actually going to sow all of these because we've got multiple greenhouses to grow in and it's really the last year I'm actually going to be sowing this particular one anyway so I may as well use up the seeds and if, I, if they do germinate I can literally just give it to somebody, some of the plants. I'm sure they'll be appreciative of it. I'm just hoping I've got enough seed left since I'd already started them. A while ago. It's the problem with seeds. Some of, there's a lot of seeds that you really can't save for too long. I find the germination rates too low. Now I'm planting extra because I'm actually going to give some of these away as gifts. I'll pop them on and actually give them to a couple of family members for them to grow on their windowsills. Now it'll be interesting to see what's in this pepper shake whether there's any scotch bonnets and things because last year we actually bought scotch bonnets oh hmm <laughs> one lonely seed oh he can be mixed in with that and we'll call this one so we'll do the KNs. so basically I wasted a whole packet of seeds trying to get them to germinate and I'm really really hoping that it was the compost I used. I'll do these ones sweet. It's a nice thing when you're growing from seed. You can grow an extra few and give them as gifts once you've potted them on if, you, if that's what you want to do. Now I'm just going to spread those out a little bit and I'll literally just top it up with a light dusting of compost. It will get a good full water before going home and germinating. Just found some old scotch bonnets that were in our old greenhouse and they've got dried seeds in. Now I know it's not necessarily the way to do it but I'm actually going to give it a go because I didn't buy any scotch bonnet seeds. Now this was off a plant that we actually bought reduced from B&Q and we did actually get quite a few scotch bonnets off. Now this one looks a little bit like a mould on it. I'm still going to give it a go. It's going to be in its own separate pot so it makes no difference. I'll keep this one to this cell. Now scotch bonnet is something that I actually quite enjoy within reason. Now these were hot but they weren't killer hot. I've definitely definitely had hotter. The thing is with the chilli plants, I've got different places I can actually keep them. I can grow a few literally at home and a few at the actual allotment. I think I'm losing my voice, which is probably bliss to some. Yeah, 
these will come home and get a little bit more heat and we'll see if they actually germinate they may not but we'll give it a go anyway I've managed to sow those scotch bonnet peppers without thinking crushing them open and touching my nose and my face it's on fire oh my goodness me my nose hurts so much oh. at the moment that's all I'm going to sow today again some of the stuff will be sown again in another couple of weeks but the key thing is just don't rush it doesn't all have to be done all in one go and if you space it all out you'll get a better harvest anyway oh my nose 